أدمى يا حي يا قيوم ألا لا إله إلا الله يا حي يا قيوم ألا لا إله إلا الله هبتيك بمجي يا حي يا قيوم ألا لا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين We give all thanks and adoration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making it possible for us to be here again on eternal bliss A program put together by Natural Life Party Society, NASFAS to help us grow in our deen It is important that we do that because as Muslims we are here for a purpose and the purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to help us to worship him in the best way that he will please with us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Halami, today, hmm, just as usual, we have our guest in the studio and we have a topic that we're going to talk about today. And this topic, it is very, very important because it has to do with our family, with women, with our husbands, with our wives. So sit back and enjoy what we have for you today. What is the topic and who is my guest today? We are going to be talking about coping with absentee husband. Hmm. I know you have said mm, at home. <laughs> Inshallah, we're going to do justice to that. My name is Fauzi Yasalakosoni, and my guest today is Ajia Muyenot Idowu Yusuf. She is a member of NASFAT National Economic Empowerment and also a member of NASFAT National Women Management Committee. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, you're welcome to Eternal Bliss, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We have this topic to deal with today, okay. coping with absentee husband. How do we define an absentee husband? <laughs> what a topic. Thank you, my sister. As the name implies, an absentee husband hmm. can be defined as a husband that is not physically available. Or the husband that lives lives away from his wife and his family. This living away, I mean, varies. It can be living away temporarily. It can be living away permanently. It can be short term or long term. An absentee is an absentee husband. That is, the person is not available. Mm. Available physically. For the wife and the and the children as at the time that they need him. So as at that moment it's no way to be found count. physically and every other wife. Yeah. Okay, ma'am, you mentioned long term and short term in your explanation of who an absentee husband is. What do we mean by this, ma'am? Thank you, my sister. When I, I, I mean when I say short term, for instance, if you are working in you are living in Nashishi here, yeah? but you like a driver, for instance, like that gets a job in VI to drive someone, or gets in Lekki, and the, the, the person you are driving uh, works in VI. Coming from Nashishi to, yeah. to VI every day to pick your, I mean, or to Lekki to pick your bus, bus. To, the, to work might not be easy. You might need to be going from, say, Sunday night okay. to. Monday morning, Monday morning. I mean, do you understand? For one week, you can be going and be absent from home for one week. For you can even do it twice a twice a month. You can even say, okay, do I like do this? Stress is too much. Or even our our young uh, couples, they can't afford house rent mm. in Lagos metropolitan metropolitan. But they have job there, but they are, they they settle their wife in the battle, for instance. They are saying, okay, I'll be coming every month. I'll be coming once a month to come home. That's a separate one. But we have a situation whereby people can relocate for, for, for different reasons. They can say, okay, maybe for education, for job, for businesses. They can say they are living outside Nigeria. 
and it will take a longer time for them to see their. Some might even be hooked, mm. and it will be difficult for them to see their, to, to, to see their, uh, maybe because they don't have the necessary papers. That's a long term absenteeism. Mm. So you can see the difference between, you can be, but absenteeism is absenteeism. Is that long term <laughs> or short term? Whether short term <laughs> or long term. Because the Quran that says, we are, uh, Allah talked about marriage. Mm. He said you should be, I mean, it brings us as mates to live together, together, to dwell together in tranquility, to sit together, not to be seeing each other at, at different times. So, what marriage means is seeing being each together. other, being together. Mm. So when you are absent, you are absent, whether long term or short term. Mm. Just like I've explained, I, that will lead me to the question I wonder that what circumstances can make a husband to become an absentee husband? Thank you, my sister. There are a series of circumstances. Mm. Some are good, some are otherwise. Mm. But the, with the research, this has shown that the percentage of people that, that are, when they did a research on this absenteeism, they noticed that what takes people away most is economic, for economic reasons. Like seeking for a job, mm. already having a job or being seconded from your work, mm -hmm. or looking for greener posture, or looking for business, or trade. A lot of things as regards economic, uh, economic reasons. Mm -hmm. We have education, like what is currently happening to our young adults now. They are jumping mm. to go and seek further education outside. abroad, outside, and majority of them. That's why the fact that they have the opportunity of taking the family. So because of economic reason, because of the fact that they don't have enough no. money to do it, they, they, they tend to not immediately take their, 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 their spouse and their, their children. And looking, at, looking back to the early days of Rasulullah so so and also to the time of the caliphs that came after him, taking for instance, in the days of Umar, they said war people move away from their family because of war they go to 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 fight for the cause of allah mm -hmm. and in, in that during that period they leave their family their, their their wives and children behind so that is also part of the reason so a, a lot and lots and lots like that so because and most as well because of that economic reason Econ because we need to keep body and soul fact, together. the research the, the research that I, I i the article that i read said that they gave a survey they did that article um, did that survey in uh, southwest western nigeria i think mm. in Ibadan, and they said they gave gave a survey and 68.1 percent of the people that filled that survey at, uh, attest to the fact mm. that the major the major thing that takes people away mm -hmm. from their wife mm. is economic reason. And I'm very sure because when you as a husband are supposed to be with your wife and you're not there because of especially economic reason, mm. are there likely challenges that can arise from this absenteeism? Oh, lots of challenges. Mm. Lots and lots of challenges. And I said, a lot that said, Men and women should be together yeah. as reasons. Number one challenge is upbringing of the children. The children. Mm. Upbringing of children, whether it's short term or long term. Who says between if if a child, especially boys, <laughs> as our young uh, children that are boys, you know they can be very smart. Mm. If we know that ah. Daddy will go, that, daddy is, I mean, is a routine that daddy goes on Sunday and comes and back and what? goes early Monday morning and, and comes, comes back Friday. on Friday. If he wants to do any runs within that period, he'll do, do it. But God has put this, um, I don't know, uh, um, Yoruba will say or war. Mm. The, the regard, the respect. Regard, the respect of men. Mm. When they are around, children tend to behave. Ah! That he must know it. Even you can yeah, testify uh, to that fact. If I know my children, they say, oh, don't let me say you here. Do you understand? They know. And another challenge is women 
that the husbands are not around most times. You know, women have weak hearts. Mm. When, they, when, when they need somebody to cry on their shoulder, it is not by phone, it is not by say, let me put a call to you. You need physical, physical attention, phys physical for you to feel each other. That is emotional, emotional, emotional stress, uh, physical stress, and financial stress because we have some men that are not available like that and they will still not do their, um, responsibility. their uh, financial responsibility. So body will be too, way too much on the woman. So economic, emotional, and even it affects women's mental, mm. mental health because... You want to sleep at night. To this student, this wahala is too much for only me. I have this, 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 and having the mind that my husband is somewhere enjoying, you know, <laughs> eh, I'm the only one he's leaving this this yeah, stress yeah. for. That is uh, that, that that is uh, uh, another challenge. Challenge and the most, the greatest of the challenge is if you don't have the fear of Allah. Because Allah will show you. If you don't have the fear of Allah, tendency of you doing, committing adultery, committing sinner, which is the greatest sin in the, in the eye of Allah subhanahu mm -hmm. wa ta'ala. If you don't get, especially people that, that have gone for so long. Hmm? People that have gone for so long. I was saying, you know, sorry to, um, I would like to re-emphasize the other question that you asked. I said, there are some Good reason why people mm. there are some um, bad. Yes. You know, some people can be jailed mm. and they will mm. not be available. I and it happens to people that are travel sometimes because some some people travel and they don't go with um, with with um, yeah, the complete documents. Complete documents. Mm. By the time uh, the, 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 the the law enforcement. Like, chasing them because they don't have the proper papers to stay in and that the, place. And the wife might not even know where they are. Hmm. We, we don't know the next thing that has happened to them because sometimes we don't get to tell the, the wife. So some people might be changed. Some people might be kidnapped. So series of things can make people to, to be And to funny be. enough, the wife might be thinking maybe you just want to abandon me and looking and at another woman. Not knowing that he's going through a lot of years. Where he is. <laughs> so it, it, it's now boils down to the fact that if it happens, mm. how does a wife, a woman, you just said it, we have that wicked heart. Mm. How do we cope in such situations like this? You have an upset husband. Coping mechanism is what you are talking about here. Mm. A lot is involved here. For you to cope as a wife, in this kind of situation, number one, you need to be to to grant yourself economically. Hmm. Be occupied, be be engaged. And when I talk about engagement in this circumstance, it's positive engagement. Have your work. It can be five to uh, eight to five work good. It can be if we if you don't have that opportunity, you can do business, but don't ever, don't ever be idle. Mm. And when I say get occupied, I'm not saying to the de detriment of the it's care okay. of your kid, mm. kids. Think whatever you're going to do, lots that you can do now, even if you, as a business, a lot that you can sit down right inside your bedroom and do as a business. I have a friend that told me I make my millions on the top of my bed. What does mm. she do? She's a, she, she's a travel agency. Okay. She said she has acquired all the necessary things, all the certification, all the uh, all the uh, all the licenses that she's supposed to get. She, has, she on on top of her bed, she will do reservation for people. She will follow it through. She mm. can do uh, organized talk, organize everything right inside her uh, bedroom. Had more so, alhamdulillah, Nasfat, because we are a technological, we are in the, in the, in the era of technology. Mm. And I, I like Nasfat for the fact that they move with technology. Mm -hmm. And now they've organized training about digital marketing for our youths. Even not only youths, even some other people that are not youths participated in that. And what does that mean? You can be right inside, make wow. better use of technology. Use technology to make to do businesses, 
So, as a coping mechanism, there is a lot you can do. But that does not also stop you to be spiritually inclined. Because you need it. To, have, to, to, to manage your mental health, especially for the men that you do, for the absentee husbands that you don't say and he doesn't communicate very well. You know, you can be your, your mind will be wondering what what kind what, what is this man doing where he is? Yeah, yeah maybe he's with another woman. Mm. Hey, maybe he's this. So you need God. You need to constantly be calling Allah to please be my help. Please be give me Sakina. Hmm? Give me uh, when you when you recite your fatia, you repeat Idina's rental mustakim over and guide over us. and over. Guide mm. us, God, tell me what to do. And the only way that can make you do it this way is for you to be spiritually inclined. To know that nobody can help me in this situation. Oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, those are the, 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 the mechanism. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think for, for a sentient husband that is willing and responsible, mm -hmm. another mechanism is communication. To keep the mind at rest of the wife. <laughs> Communication. Communicate with your wife regularly. I, I used to tell people, I said, <laughs> I used to have somebody that I used to, they, to cancel. I said, for goodness sake, the thing that can make your wife know that you are with her is for you to call her in the morning, first thing in the morning, and last thing in the night. And I'm, I will advise you, don't do this call. Don't make it a audio call. A voice call, make it video call. Mm. Let her see you at all times. Psychologically, she will be balanced. So that's another mechanism: communication mm. and. Mm. Mm. Oh, so that is it for you. That you are maybe for now. You have an absenteeism husband. All you have to do is number one, have trust in your mm. husband, trust. isn't it, ma'am? Believe that where your husband is, is, is where he is. That's a, that's a good what point. Is, what is, what we went there to do is what is he is. what he's doing. So let that trust be there. Be there. Because it, uh, the same thing with the husband too. Whenever your wife says, have the trust that she is where she is. And, because and we have the fear of what she wants to do. Because we have the fear of, fear God, of God in us. Alright, so thank you very much, Adia. But before we continue, let's go to the streets. We have gone out to hear the voices of the people. What is their own take uh, about this topic that we are discussing today? Let's listen to them and we'll be back, inshallah. A woman whose husband uh, is far away from where she is, it is very, very important that uh, the woman should represent the husband whatever she can do when the husband is around is what she should do when the husband is not around you know there are very factors responsible for husband and wife living together whatever it is a woman should be able to stand firmly on her feet so that even if the husband should say i'm coming back and the plan change only allah knows the best that is why we always encourage our young ones. Every woman should be able to, you know, stand on your feet financially so that the absence of the husband, even if you cannot see him physically, if the issue of finances is not, is not there, the, the, the problem will be minimal. The union is about love. It does not matter as long as they are able to communicate. I think they should still be able to maintain that relationship. The, 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 the main point is about the love that is between them. If there is no love, there could be anything in between. But if there is love, they can communicate left and right to the advantage of the whole family. Okay, any money fair, Johnny Fiarawa. If Omoa, Omoa, Owoa, Owoa, Tabati Jolu, if you're Papo, while I book by them, my boss, you're wrong. And tell me, Rinipe, I go to my show as she sharawa. Kiyoko, to Tabajo Nifiarawa, even Tay, our bank, and control the book, and control the Tay Bank, where your bank, where your one sofa, and see our one she talk with, go nearly in control that. So tea fair batty Joa, Tade Ferrawa, fish a billy lie while I sully, while I run Luma Bossy. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, you're welcome back. The program is still eternal bliss and inshallah we've been talking about coping with absentee husband. 
You know what it means? My husband is not around. Uh, how do I cope? How do I handle that kind of situation? That is what we are talking about today. Uh, thank you so much, Adia, for doing this. Well, we have Adia Muyinat Idogu Yusu, who has been doing this for us this morning on this program. Just sit back. We have a lot to still give to you today. And in case you're just joining us, you can go to NASA TV or Kin Media YouTube channel and watch all these videos there to get more information about this. Alhamdulillah, but before we go, Adia, I uh, would want you to give us a piece of advice especially to those wives who are in this kind of situation so that they will know how to handle the situation what can they do about it they will also go to those absentee husband what can they do to make sure that life means comfortable for this wife because she she's a woman she's human she needs to be loved she needs to have that feelings running in her body in fact thank you my sister and thank you for this question <clears throat> my last advice I will take it from what you added to my point the other time. Yes, the first advice is trust. Mm. When we have healthy absenteeism, right, correct, um, not not the 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 the, 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 the other one. Mm. Because you know I told you that we have some men that are run away with another woman. Mm -hmm. and, uh, for people that are maybe due to economic reason or whatever, whatever, whatever. Trust. Let the word trust run between the husband and the wife. And it will help them a lot. And number two, is another thing that we have mentioned. Communication. Mm. Communi they should communicate often and often. They should, and they should share their ideas, share their feelings, even if it's over the phone. And the most important thing, is to work on how to rectify it. Mm. You must not be away forever. We are not married to be away forever. Men and women are married to dwell together. The most important thing is work as much as possible to come together. If it's the husband that will go and meet the wife, if it's the wife that will go and meet the husband, let's work, let's try, strive hard to make it happen. In addition, another advice that I would like to give to, especially a woman that is in this circumstance, is to have a good, you need friends. You need friends, whether male or female. But intimacy is what you should watch. Don't, be, don't do intimacy with a man. It's, it's for a reason. The reason is to avoid sinner. We are very weak. This our mind is weak. Mm -hmm. If you are emotionally down and you now go to a man, friend, and a, and sorry. alone, mm -hmm. even if you are going to, even if you like a man to advise you, don't do it in an enclosed place where devil can mm -hmm. interfere, interfere and bring about wrong, and bring about wrong interpretation of it. And where people can even see you and interpret because Islam condemns it. Mm -hmm. Islam says, when you are with a person, say, let the talk person be there. If not one talk person is there, make sure that the door is wide open mm -hmm. so that people see you. Good. I mean, the, the way me and you are sitting, you can be advising me. But don't be too close. Mm -hmm. okay. another, another advice that I would like to give to women in this situation is, when this kind of thing happens, the understanding between your, yourself and your husband matters. The initial, before you embark on this this uh, project, it's a project though. Mm. It's a project if, you are go, if the husband is going to look for greener pasture or whatever. You need to sit down and understand. Draw the your your program. Understand between the two of you. Let the consent be there that I allow you to go. Mm. You are not going without my without my permission. Without my, con without my consent, let the consent, that's the word, mm. consent, let the consent be between the two of you, that you both agree that this thing that we want to embark on is a struggle, and we're going to struggle it together. And if that understanding is there, whatever it is, it will be able to develop that trust, mm. if, that if the background understanding is there. 
you both are, even if anybody comes to say, oh, you don't know what your husband is, we, we both agree. Mm -hmm. We both, uh, thank you so much. We, I mean, I understand. We both agree. And we, I mean, I'm following up with him. I know what he's doing. And we agree together. And it's a struggle that both of them Thank you, so much. Thank you so much, Adia not Ido, who you so we have really dealt so much on this topic today, and I'm feeling like uh, somebody who is being affected is definitely getting a relief, inshallah. We said Jazakum Allah Khairan. This we we'll have been talking today about coping with absent of Zbande. Hmm. I hope you have gathered some of the things we have spoken about today. They are very, very important. We say Jazakum Allah Khairan to you, wow. Ma. Thank you, Wayapu. We have been speaking with Adia Muinoti Dohu Yusu, who happens to be a member of NASPAT National Economic Empowerment. She's also a member of National Women Affairs Committee. We thank you so much for doing this for us today. Our viewers at home, I hope one or two lessons you have learned on today's episode. Please, our women, it is important that we take this very, very seriously. Our husband will go for economic reasons for us to be better, to live well, to be comfortable. What you have said is trust. Let's trust each other. And may our union continue to be uh, comfortable and be blissful for us. It is on that note, we call it a day on Eternal Bliss today. Join us tomorrow again, inshallah, for another fresh episode of the program. Jazakum Allah Karan to Nasa for bringing this on board. Swazi Asalakosani is my name. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.